Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In today's episode of A Message to Manage Your Day, I would like to share some thoughts on the theme, Spiritual Blindness. In the late 1700s, the manager of a large hotel in Baltimore refused lodging to a man dressed like a farmer. He turned the farmer away because he thought the guest's shabby appearance would discredit the reputation of his distinguished hotel. The farmer picked up his bag and left without saying a further word to anyone. Later that evening, the hotel manager discovered that he had turned away the vice president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. Immediately, the manager sent a note of apology to Jefferson, asking him to come back and be his guest in the hotel. Jefferson replied by instructing the messenger as follows. Tell him, I have already reserved a room. I value his good intentions highly. But if he has no room for a common American farmer, then he has no room for the vice president of the United States of America. The hotel manager was spiritually blind that he could not see the greatness of the person behind the farmer's clothing. For this reason, Ernest Agyamang Jebova says, the cloth of a person is never a true measure of his wisdom and understanding. In the Bible, you have the story of the great sage Samuel selecting a new king for the people of Israel after King Saul had fallen out of divine favor from the Jesse family. He was divinely instructed to guard against spiritual blindness and not to judge by external appearances of the sons of Jesse, but to look into the heart. Samuel follows the divine direction and chooses the most unlikely candidate in worldly terms, the last son of Jesse, David, a shepherd boy, and anoints him as the second king of Israel. Spiritual blindness is a mental state which makes you to perceive, judge, and value life, people, and situations totally based on external appearances, worldly standards, and superficial knowledge. Often, pride, anger, and ignorance are the root causes of spiritual blindness in a person. Likewise, vicious attitudes such as self-centeredness, self-conceit, greed, hatred, prejudice, and jealousy, which derive from the above-mentioned three root causes, also can make a person to become spiritually blind. A spiritually blind person often does not know where he stands and what he stands for, as he lacks the true vision of life. As a result, he bases his judgment on the external and the peripheral. He is moved by appearances and unable to look into the deeper and inner dimension of people. As he does not open himself to the divine wisdom and guidance, he continues to stand spiritually blinded by being caught up in the wisdom of the world, worldly attractions and attachments. Rachel E. Goodrich says, we live our lives supposing things are as they appear to be when that is almost never the case. This was the case with the hotel manager who turned away Vice President Thomas Jefferson thinking that he was a poor farmer. Do I understand what it means to be spiritually blind? Am I spiritually blind and guided by external appearances in my judgment of people and events? Do I allow myself to be guided by pride, anger, ignorance, 
and other vices that stem from them, such as self-centeredness, self-conceit, greed, hatred, prejudice, and jealousy in my judgment of people? Do I have the right vision of life? Do I know where I stand and what I stand for? Am I blind to divine wisdom and caught up in the wisdom of the world, worldly attractions and attachments? Dear friends, there is a Scottish proverb which says, Do not judge by appearances. A rich heart may be under a poor coat. Remember that appearances are deceiving, and what a person is should not be judged by his looks, but what is deep within his heart. Understand the dangers of spiritual blindness. Do not let your pride, anger and ignorance and other vices that stem from them take hold of you and continue to be spiritually blind. Open yourself to the divine wisdom and have the right vision for your life so that you can truly know where you stand and what you stand for. May the divine who looks into your heart and values you for what you are be with you and assist you to let go your spiritual blindness so that you can act in such a way that you give everyone the value and worth each person deserves. This is my wish and prayer for you, dear friends. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.